You can't love someone without hating them a little bit. I mean, think about it. Love and hate seem like they're complete opposites, but in the brain, they're surprisingly similar. Neuroscience research shows that they activate a lot of the same regions, particularly the putamen and insula, which are both linked to passion and intensity. Both emotions flood the brain with a lot of emotional energy, which is why people who love each other can so easily swing between feeling love and hate. Psychologists call this the thin line effect. The stronger the bond, the stronger the emotions. So if you love someone, you're going to feel a lot of positive emotions towards them. But if you hate them, you're going to feel a lot of negative emotions towards them. But because the brain regions involved in love and hate are so similar, it's easy to go from one to the other. That's why a breakup can turn someone you once loved into someone you hate very quickly. In short, love and hate are like emotional twins. They're driven by the same circuits in the brain, just pointed in opposite directions.